In terms of optimization, Elden Ring Night Train is a disappointment in many ways on PC. Most importantly, there is a 60 FPS cap, and the game doesn't support any upscaling solutions like DLSS, FSR, or XESS. I also encountered many freezes during my time testing the game. They would last up to a few seconds. It's like one major stutter that didn't want to go away. And they were relatively frequent. At least the regular stutters don't seem to occur. And since the game is capped at 60 FPS, it made testing CPU performance basically impossible. But here's the R5 3600X's utilization anyway. It topped at around 40% usage, which means even low-end CPUs won't have any trouble reaching the 60 FPS cap. The game's settings menu is very basic, and there are very few meaningful settings to tweak. Let's start with texture quality. Going from low to medium is the only option that seems to increase texture quality, while higher options don't make any difference. I don't think this setting controls texture resolution at all, Probably just texture filtering, as VRAM usage stays the same across all options. Speaking of which, the game uses just under 5GB of VRAM using max settings at 1440p. Anti-aliasing turned off looks very shimmery. Using low looks shimmery and blurry. The only acceptable option is high. SSAO on medium looks very basic and is inaccurate. High improves its accuracy and quality significantly, while maximum doesn't seem to make any difference over high. I don't know if it's broken or the improvement is so small it's unnoticeable. Use high to be safe. The shadows in this game look very rough and they consistently shimmer across all options. But the visual issues are reduced when using higher options. High also starts adding more shadows to the scene, while Maximum offers a small improvement at a bigger cost to FPS, depending on the scene. I recommend using high for the best balance. Just a heads up that lighting quality on low can break the lighting in some scenes. It also controls the distance at which light sources are visible. As for performance, other than low, it has a minimal impact. So I recommend using maximum here. As for the effects quality, going from low to medium enables bloom, while higher options don't seem to do anything further. However, this setting does seem to affect some spells. In this next scene, it also adds more particles and even new effects to the spell. Maximum can drop FPS a bit in these scenes, so I recommend using high for the best balance. The volumetric lighting quality looks a bit blocky on low and medium. High is a big improvement, and maximum improves upon high. Using anything below maximum, can introduce shimmering when there are volumetrics behind some objects. It is especially noticeable on low and medium. What's even worse is that the volumetrics can start breaking down during movement, as low and medium look very erratic, while high is acceptable, but it is still a bit unstable, while maximum looks mostly stable. Maximum has a big performance impact, so use high for better performance. The reflection quality seems to only apply on water surfaces, and the improvements with each option is somewhat noticeable. But, as the water is not static, the improvement isn't that noticeable, and using maximum can drop FPS a bit. So, use high here. The water surface quality setting on low doesn't interact with the character or to any movement. Using high enables somewhat dynamic animations, and there doesn't seem to be a measurable impact to performance. So, keep it on high for the best image quality. 
The shader quality setting doesn't seem to affect the majority of the environments in this game. I could only find it making a difference on the waves of the shoreline when using high, and the performance impact can be quite significant there. So, I recommend using medium for much better performance when it matters. The global illumination quality setting appears to be broken and doesn't make a difference to image quality or performance in my testing across many scenes. The grass quality setting also appears to be broken as it doesn't make any difference to grass in any way, nor does it affect performance. And here are the optimized settings. I would like to thank Chirpy once more for being a supporter on Patreon. For becoming a supporter, you can download and watch my optimization guide videos in full quality without the YouTube compression. Now for the performance. And to test it, I had to increase the resolution to 1800p so I can go below the 60fps cap. And as you can see, using the optimized settings barely increased performance. This game has such limited scalability, it's laughable. This among many of the negatives I mentioned earlier in the video, make this game a terrible port on PC. What do you guys think?